Okay, so unlike some of you, I love doing home network upgrades, and it's actually been a long time since I have done one. I worked on a few different videos showing some of beginners how to build out your home network, but now it's my turn. Now I'm actually doing a full network upgrade for myself. Now I was initially thinking about setting up a 2.5 gig network because I thought that'd be more relatable to a lot of the viewers out there. It's definitely more on a budget, but considering the needs that I have for trying to edit video on a NAS, I decided to go full 10 gig with this video. So in this video today, we are going to be upgrading my home network to full 10 gig and Wi-Fi 7 to essentially supercharge my entire home network. Now, this is gonna be overkill for 99% of you out there, but there are gonna be some who might need this. I record a ton of footage all in 4K, so I've got large files to be transferring back and forth between things, and I thought this would just be a fun video to bring you guys along with. First thing that I wanted to do is I want to take a speed test of my current home network. So let's take a look at what I'm getting over an ethernet connection and over my home Wi-Fi. Now I don't want the external internet to be affecting my speed test here. So we're actually gonna be running everything locally off of the NAS, getting a true speed test. So right now I am pretty much bottlenecked at one gig speeds because that is what my infrastructure is built off of, one gig speeds. So we can see right here that my download speeds are 987 and my upload speeds are 992. Now let's go ahead and test my Wi-Fi speeds. All right, running a local Wi-Fi speed test right here. I'm getting 665 down and 443 up. So that's kind of the baseline that we're gonna be using to test what our speeds jump to when we jump over to Wi-Fi 7. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I was initially planning to go with a 2.5 gig network upgrade. I figured that was a good stepping stone and something more relatable, and then maybe Wi-Fi 6E. But I actually reached out to the team over at Netgear. I worked on the project with them almost three years ago now to see if they wanted to help with this video and send out some gear. After some back and forth with them and talking about what I actually needed out of this network, we decided to actually just go full bore and we're going with 10 gig in the house and Wi-Fi 7. Now here are the things they sent out. I also want to thank Netgear for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Is your Wi-Fi struggling to keep up with your life? Slow speeds, dead zone, and buffering are just annoying and actually unacceptable. That's why you need the Netgear Orbi 970 series with Wi-Fi 7, the ultimate upgrade for your home network. Whether you're gaming, streaming 8K content, or working from home, your devices need speed and coverage. Traditional routers just can't cut it, especially in large homes with lots of devices. The Orbi 970 series isn't just fast, it's next generation fast. Powered by Wi-Fi 7 and quad band technology, this system delivers at speeds of up to 27 gigs. And with its advanced mesh technology, it blankets up to 10,000 square feet with rock solid Wi-Fi. No more dead zones, no more drop connections, just ultra fast, reliable internet in every room on every device. Plus, if you're upgrading your home network like I am, it supports multi-gig wired connections for those 10 gig setups. Perfect for gamers, creators, and anybody who demands high performance. It's time to say goodbye to lag and hello to the future of Wi-Fi. If you are ready to experience Wi-Fi without compromise, check out the Netgear Orbi 970 series. I'll drop a link below in the description for you guys to grab yours and really level up your home network. Trust me, you'll wonder how you lived without it. All right, we have got everything plugged in to the device right here. Just waiting for the light to turn on to know that it is all set up. But this is what the setup looks like. We've got our two NASs up here that I use for editing. So those are going to have a nice improvement with the new 10 gig setup that we have. Below this, we have got all the other junk that you see down here, a UPS on the ground for a battery backup. And then here in the middle, we have got everything else. Here is the gig switch that I have. This is just a regular one gig switch across the board you can see everything plugged in with all of the lights on this one right here is going to be the most important one for going to the office to 
deliver that 10 gig. So that is one that is going to be nice to have. Down below here, we have the AT&T Gateway. This brings internet into the house. So right now I do have the new Netgear plugged into it. So it is plugged into the port right here, which is providing internet. And then that is going up our Cat6 cable all the way up here to the new device. Now we do have to remove this thing and put it somewhere. I do have the feed cable coming in. So we've got internet coming in. That one is coming out. We also have this guy that Netgear sent out. This is a full 10 gig switch. So 10 gigs across the board. I'll stick it up here for you guys to see. But every single port on here is going to be 10 gigs. This thing is overkill for just a normal house setting, but I absolutely love it. Here at the end, we do have some SFP ports. Uh, maybe I'll use those in the future to set up some fiber tests and things like that. So that's cool to have. But this is the new switch that Netgear sent out for this network upgrade. And I'm pretty excited about that. But first thing we need to do is we need to take out the old switch right here. I do have a double sided sticky tape holding it in. Now the new switch here is pretty heavy and I'm kind of concerned about using double sided sticky on that, but we will see on there. Need to kind of pull the rest of the stuff out of the closet here. But other than that, we're good to go. Everything's getting it plugged into the UPS here for our battery backup in case the power does go out. So we will be solid, good to go and ready for our setup. So I've decided to go with the 3M command strips. These are gonna be nice and heavy duty and be able to hold this thing in. Plus we got the cabling up top there that'll help hold these guys in. All right, so here we've got our bad boy 10 gig switch all set up, link lights, it is working. If we take a look down here, we have got our AT&T gateway that's still sitting on the ground. Everything is still kind of a mess. We've got our Netgear 970 sitting up here, ready to go. But you know what? I'm not cleaning all of this up right now. I'm actually going to tease this out. If you guys want to see the before and the beautiful after of all this setup, you are going to have to go check it out on Instagram. I will leave the link right here for you guys to check out or it'll be in the description, but we'll get all this cleaned up and that'll be a special little teaser for all you guys over on Instagram. Now that we've got it all set up though, let's go ahead and test out our speeds. Okay, so now that we have everything set up, we're going to be testing out our speeds. We have now got 10 gig throughout the house and the connection. And the only bottleneck that I may have is my Cat 5e cable. Now I did a full video on that a couple months ago to test out my Cat 5 cabling, but I'm expecting some pretty high speeds out of here. We were getting in the 900s before. Now we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get higher than the 900s. And yep, just like we tested in the previous video, we are getting in the mid 9,000s. In fact, we're getting up to 9.7. That is incredibly fast. Nine seven, nine, six, kind of teetering there. So we have a 9,700 download speed and our upload speed is matching it too. So we're getting some incredible connection speeds out of our new 10 gig network. But the biggest thing that I want to test out is our Wi-Fi and see how fast that is actually going to perform. All right, so we're on the mobile. Let's see how fast we're going to be able to get with Wi-Fi 7. I think we were getting, what was it? 650 down and about 450 up before. So I'm hoping to see some improvements here. Fingers crossed. Oh my goodness, 1400, 15, 1600, a 1600 down on Wi-Fi. Holy crap. That's a thousand more than I was getting before. Let's see what our upload is. Dude, 1200 upload speed. Are you kidding me? That's faster than what I'm paying for, for my internet. Okay. Wow. That <laughs> I was not expecting that. That is incredibly fast. And those are the kind of speeds that you can expect with something like the Netgear Orbi 970 
Wi-Fi 7. Like I said, it is going to be the fastest Wi-Fi you can purchase to date. Now, I wanna thank Netgear again for teaming up with me on this project and sending out those products. If you guys want to know more about them, there will be links in the description. If you are brand new to home networking, maybe you don't know how to set all this stuff up. I have done videos going through step-by-step step of just the very basic of a home network setup. I will link that over here for you guys to check out. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys in the next video.